paint, a painted depiction of a photograph that she had of Rivera as a young child. And instead of a frame, you see some sort of artery or vein that's wrapped around the perimeter of the, of the photograph and travels up her arm and, and tangles around and enters into her heart, which has been extracted from her body. Um, you know, extracted hearts and, and, and blood in general um, are a very potent symbol in Aztec culture as in Christian art, I mean, many, many cultures. Um, and I think, and then you can follow the, the, the vein and artery around into the other Frida, and her heart, again, is extracted. This time it's more ravaged, it's torn open, it's broken. Um, this Frida is wearing the, uh, what we believe to be a European-style wedding garment, maybe a, a blouse and a skirt. And um, you can see the, the hemorrhaging is just unabated. It's spilling um, out of, of the artery or vein, and she's trying to stop the flow of the blood um, through the use of some sort of surgical pincers, but isn't successful, and it spills on her skirt, and I think the staining of the blood and how it sort of morphs into flowers and butterflies is just a tour de force um, um, use of, of paint in, in this um, gorgeous portrait. Do you want to talk a little bit about what Frida, what she said, what about, she it? said about it? Yeah. Um, well, what, what she, an American visitor what, who came to, and saw her, and while she was working on this, she told him that uh, the Frida on the right, the Tijuana Frida, was the Frida that Diego had loved. And the one in the sort of Victorian wedding dress is the Frida that Diego no longer loved. She also wrote to a journalist <coughs> that the painting, and we only just discovered this because there have been a lot of papers that have just been found in letters and costumes and things in a closet in Frida Kahlo Museum in Coyoacan, and there are tremendous numbers of letters and things like that.